Powell in English. Powell internationally. So Powell tonight. Well, Powell, international. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go international with Powell Wolak. And he'll be trying to get inside on Anthony Little. Wolak comes off a two-round knockout in his last fight over Keith Sims. Little has lost three in a row. Wolak's got to get in there and, and do his damage now because you're brazen over the eye. You, you know, you don't want to go on too long if you can get the guy out of there quickly. Well, it's an advertisement. Yeah. You have some type of a cut against the taller guy, too. Yeah. The Wolak does throw short, quick punches. You always have to be on alert. Because he'll get in there and just start opening up. Well, if you're Anthony Little, fate has given you a wild card in the form of that cut. And this is his chance to break that losing streak. They've given him a good head start. He's got to work the jab and keep his distance. Don't let Wolak swarm, because once he gets close to you, that's his strength. Uppercut by Little. Good body shot here by Wolak. So Little abandoning what would be a natural edge, his jab, and decides to slug with a guy <laughs> who will be very happy he did oh, yes. so. Yes, indeed. You need to keep that distance, work the jab, use your footwork, go in and out. But as you said, you want to slug with a slugger, okay. Meantime, just as we expect will happen during the Duddy fight, we might have a soccer game break out in the crowd. This is a real <laughs> enthusiastic group here for Wolot, chanting his name and bringing that international element of boxing. Here into New York. See, Wolak is working the body. Hard shot. Hasn't really gone up top just yet with a good shot. But finding his range by digging the shots to the body. Good shot. Wolak working the body well. I like to see Wolak come behind the jab. And Wolak doing a nice job trying to bob and weave and get inside. And then he gets the reward for it. He slips the jab and then works the body. Good hard shot to the body to slow his man down. And Anthony Little's not really using his nickname, Quick. So Wolak gets inside for the opening round. Little does not use his edge. Second round action underway. And it's a very lively event here. Paul Powell Wolak against Anthony Little. The only thing I worry about is he's got a tender eye. Wolak comes in. I'm wondering with a clash of heads, might that just split it open? But so far, so good. Wolak is coming in, staying low, protecting his eyes, and digging those shots to the body. Even rubbing the eyes, he figures he can walk through Little, who has lost three fights in a row, and Little may have sent him the same message as Wolak is walking through. We're at an animated Beacon Theater. I'm Dave Fontempo and Tony Page with you here. Little lost his last fight to James McGurk Jr., son of the former champion. Also stopped in 05 by Andre Berto, really nice prospect. He's, he's been with guys, but he's the better the guy. Seems like he gets we got the worst of him. But right now, Wallach is being off on him. He's going to work. Body shots, head shots. Little is starting to get into deep water. He Little. fights back just Little. in time. Little's trying to fight back also. But Wallach just he's got his man in the corner. Now he's just raining punches on him. Here comes phone booth warfare. They are right in front of each other. This is exactly where Wolock wants his fight. Good jab by Wolock. Good body work here. I want to see Wolock come underneath with an uppercut because he's got his man bending all over. 
If he steps back and throws an uppercut, you might have, might do some damage. Good left hook by Little. Rolock has three shots blocked, but he keeps going to work. And Little continues to slug with him. And so the mano a mano philosophy is what Rolock wants in this fight, and he's getting it from Little. Nice left hook by Rolock. You think the best way to describe Rolock is relentless? That would work. <laughs> he is all over Little, who is standing and fighting, showing a lot of... Bumps it, but this is not the fight style that was drawn up for him as he took a good hard shot. Footwork a little looks a little, a little, a little, a little looks a little wobbly when he's moving. Here's Warlock trying to pour it on before the round ends. Little hanging on, and the bell will come just in time. Nice round for Warlock. Could not have drawn it up any better. Right. You okay? Coach, that's it, man. I'm tired, baby. I'm huh? tired. He's going to be... He's taking a lot of fun. Keep an eye on him, right? He's going to be tired. You done? You done? Yeah, you're not. You done? You done? Okay. 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 That's it. He's done. He doesn't want to stop this fight. He doesn't want to go on. It's over. That's it, man. I'm tired, Coach. I ain't got it no more, man. You don't want to bring it no more. Nothing left in the tank. And so he quits. But you know something? That, that should be the end of a career when you say, I don't have it no more. He may mean that, too. Yes. yes. This is four straight losses for Anthony Little. His last win back against Daniel Neal. Long time ago, losses to... Darrell Richardson, Patrick Maxwell, James McGirt Jr. And when the losses pile up like that, and guess what? Maybe the commission should step in if he doesn't retire. Yeah. Because he, he gave his all. He couldn't keep him off him. Wallach was, was relentless. You talk about the relentlessness of Paolo Wallach. Right in front of him, just right, left, just, just punches over and over and over. Little has no response. Wallach just digging shots in there. Little trying to fight back. Just couldn't get the, the range. And you should that to Wallach. He wouldn't let him get the range. He just stayed on him. Did not smother himself. As we always talk about, he just smothered him with punches. Wallach was fighting as if he was afraid Little would change his mind and start jabbing. He came at him. And for Little, where was the jab? You'll never see better evidence of a guy not using his reach and paying a big price. You should have used it to keep him off. But again, Wallach was too quick, too accurate, relentless, as we said. And bruised up eye or not, he didn't care about it. He just went in there and did what he had to do. Little did not make Wallach earn his territory inside. And once Wallach got inside... He was a punching machine. He also removed his nickname. He wasn't quick at all. Tried to fight with him. Tried to move, but and we keep forgetting, Wallach did a good job of cutting off the ring. He did. Only 25 years old. Yeah, a lot of guys would not go into a fight if they've had some kind of a cut. Something that can short-circuit a fight going in, but he did. And he wins the fight. So, Wallach with a nice victory. And we'll get the numbers now. Boxing fans, at the end of the second round, boxer Tony Little unable to continue your winner by technical knockout from Krembicha.